Are there any tips on how to distinguish the goals that are of the lower self from those that are truly important to the higher self? Mm -hmm. Yes, um, you know, we're, we're really talking about how do you distinguish between the consciousness of the personality and the consciousness of the, of the soul. And um, there's a couple key ideas here. One, one is that always the personality consciousness is comparatively separative in the way it looks at life and interactions, while the soul in us is much more unitive. It's the part of us that senses a larger whole. The personality is very self-oriented, whereas the soul, the causal body, is much more the part of consciousness that thinks in terms of the welfare of larger living systems. Um, so the degree of self-reference is much less from the, soul, uh, from the perspective of the soul as it compared to the personality. Um, the personality is also the consciousness that's governed by desire. It has subtle desirous urges. Uh, and it seeks to grasp and to acquire, whether it's acquiring objects or acquiring experiences or acquiring, uh, acquiring emotional experiences or emotional satisfaction. The higher part of us is much more decentralized in the sense that it doesn't really experience desire in that way. It, it, it instead seeks to serve. Uh, it seeks to serve by sensing the unit of field and the collective consciousness uh, beyond itself and if there is a desire that the soul can be described as experiencing, it would be the desire to serve that larger whole, as opposed to serve oneself.